Before we get into the video, I need you guys to do me a favour. Number one, get this video to at least 200 likes. Also comment, let me know your thoughts on the case. USG rapper K Coke, real name Kevin Giorgio, is in more recent times known for playing the character Stax on the Amazon Prime TV show Jungle. However, real UK fans know K Coke for putting out the 2009 classic song Are You Alone, polarising the defamation his once upon a time friend Spider gave to police names, dates, multiple offences, and he gave it to police in order to save his own skin. Now Spider was quickly referred to as the very first black supergrass in news publications across the country, from Exeter to Scotland, when he made the conscious decision to become an informant. Spider was says to even have told on childhood friends leaving the estate heartbroken and betrayed. Kaycock was also known for the song Turn Back with Maverick Sabre and of course his continuous issues with Nines and the rest of ICB and also being one of the first rappers to tour internationally without a label or management. Now Kaycock was known to the Met from a very young age. His flat door would come off its hinges once a week by police after new intel would always surface and trouble would be brought to the door. Sometimes the front door wouldn't even be repaired before the police took it off again. Now at the age of 15, K. Cog had been known to take shelter in the northwest London flat stairwells and sell gear to ready clientele. He also stated in a DJ Vlad interview he had been at over 100 times starting from age 15. On one occasion, K. Cog detailed standing on the street with his little brother when an unknown person pointed the pistol in his direction, took aim and then pressed the trigger. K. Cog dodged ammo, however, his brother was struck in the upper leg. K. Cog had to contend with a lot of bad situations, not just for himself, but also for the people that he loved and cherished. Still, he continued to put one foot in front of the other and continued to survive when lesser people would crumble. In 2012, K. Cope's cousin, Luke Fitzpatrick, was confronted by a 20-man gang after leaving the Oxengate pub in Oxgate after watching the Chelsea vs Bayern Munich match. The gang, who were all armed, stormed the pub and grabbed Luke before dragging him outside. Luke struggled against the gang, but actually managed to run before he was quickly chased down. His dad, 56-year-old Bernie, saw the commotion and of course went to intervene, doing his fatherly duty attempting to save his son, but sadly Bernie was targeted in the melee with a blade for all his efforts and he was struck, and Luke sadly was fatally bladed, which means he lost his life. Now during all those crazy moments, K. Cog would get signed to Rock Nation for a hundred grand, and for a few days and weeks, K. Cog would be on top of the world, being the first UK rapper to be signed to Jay-Z's label, joining a roster which comprised of Kanye West and Rihanna, and others. However, only four months later, on April 1st, K. Cog would be charged with an attempted M, no bail was granted, and he was kept on remand for at least seven months. An unidentified 27-year-old man would be struck with ammo at Harsden train station in the back. The media coverage was intense and the story was magnified to say that the victim was a football player and he was targeted in Stonebridge at the train station. However, the victim was not a professional football player, he just played football. Now, during the investigation, CCTV outside the train station managed to capture the moments of two men wanted in connection of the two local police officers that worked the beat in Stonebridge made a comment that one of the still photos copied from the CCTV footage looked like Kevin Giorgio, aka K. Coke, and that's how K. Coke was arrested with an attempted M charge. Now, K. Coke mentioned that during the investigation, he learned who the two local police officers were and they could have held grudges against him. As K. Cog mentioned that he does have scrapping with Gamet on his record, he also mentioned that the two officers in question told investigating officers that they were 100% sure that K. Cog was one of the men in the photos. During the trial, the prosecution linked K. Cog to the crime by telling the judge that K. Cog had first-hand knowledge of the area as his house is less than a five minute walk from the crime scene. They also detailed how phone signal towers picked up K. Cog's phone 
being in the area at the time of the incident. Now, Kaycock was found not guilty on all charges. However, others were found guilty of the crime. Ultimately, after being cleared, Kaycock would be dropped by Rock Nation, and in 2015, he would sign with Universal. However, his career has not reached the heights of what it should have been. And the common denominator is, street life entices people. They cannot separate being an artist or a rapper or even an actor from real life street situations. And you know what? It's actually a miracle that Kaycock is still here, considering everything that's happened in his life. Stay safe, safe.